hello what's up folks we are on our way now to go and see if we can harvest this nyala with the bow uh, it is a couple of hours before we go into lockdown in south africa the temperature outside has just reached 34 degrees celsius so that's almost 100 degrees fahrenheit so it's pretty warm i'm going to be doing this on my own self-filming uh, self-shooting self-loading so it's going to be fun the only help i've got is when I get back home is that we can lift it up with a block and tackle and get this uh, animal processed anyway stick with us bye
Hey folks, it's seven days after harvesting that beautiful Nyala bull. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please do us a favor, like, follow, subscribe, and leave us a comment down below. I would appreciate it. I will answer your comments. We're on 21 days of lockdown. We're six days in now. I'm going to be working that venison next week from that Inyala. When I work the venison, I'm going to show you a little bit of the um, arrows work that it did within that Inyala and share that with you. I hope uh, to bring you a little bit more. We've got time on our hands now, so let's share this information. I can't stress to you how important it is to use heavy arrows and to strop your broadheads that they're razor sharp. You cannot see it on the video, but it was incredible for me when I released that arrow and it hit that Inyala, the puff of hair on both the arrows as that arrow penetrated through that animal. The first shot, the animal was able to string jump me, so he dropped down a little bit and he jumped forward. The arrow did pass through both lungs. On the second shot, it was dead center, straight through the heart, and it actually broke the opposite side shoulder. Again, it's something that I'll show you in the past post-mortem there. Shoot heavy arrows, people. They work. I hope to bring you some more in the next 10 days. Thank you.